guys, this is Rick. Hope everyone's having a good day. This is uh, just a brief um, part two to my uh, how to build a, a camper van video. Um, the, when I left it last time, the basic seat boxes had been built and just about everything had been ripped out. And the plan was to cover everything in a cream leatherette um, and foam. This is now two and a half weeks later. I've worked really hard, solidly to be honest, and the project is by no means complete. Uh, I've still got lots of little bits and bobs to do. I uh, haven't got any of the electrics in yet, um, but I've just pretty much finished doing the basic structure. Um, anyway, have a look, see what you think. Uh, I should have put my wide angle lens on actually, but uh, basically, yeah, let's go back here and have a look. So what we've basically got is, um, let's start with the back doors. This is, a uh, uh, <laughs> see all the many scars on my fingers from doing it. This is um, done with foam, uh, foam underneath, leather out over the top, and it's just basically um, a panel. And uh, I've done the same with the two basic panels there. This is the new sink that's just gone in. Um, I decided to go for a flush fit sink rather than a, a raised one. This is the, I would have liked to have gone for a flush fit hob as well, but unfortunately my uh, budget wouldn't allow. Um, all of the overhead cupboards now have been clad in the, um, the leatherette. And uh, that's the space where I'm going to put a big panel with my um, Zig unit in. Uh, all my cupboard doors have been um, leathered over. The main seat boxes have all been clad. I've got a rearward facing seat there, uh, which comes on two legs that, uh, it's almost like a headboard arrangement and uh, you can just grab the whole thing and pull it up. I'm not going to do that. Um, got the island leg table in. I put that in earlier today. The table is just uh, a leftover piece of Conti board from the work surface. Um, now the edging is rough at the moment, but I've got some edging strip on the way, which is um, it's like it's got a single lip on it, and I think you just glue it on. I've still yet to do trim around the the window there. I've got the uh, where is it? Here we go. We've got the um, the overhead for the the up lighting in, but it was really difficult to screw the thing up to the ceiling um, because obviously you can't pierce uh, you can't screw things onto this you can't pierce it once it's up so what I did was I put little um, little bridges of wood into the structure so I could go straight up through the holes for the uh, for the lighting so that's how it's held up up to the ceiling got all the ceiling done as well um, everything's screwed up with these little um, little screws like so and then these little caps that pop over the top um, which is quite cool. I've got some seat covers yet to uh, to go on which is some cream leatherette looking ones. This is the lino. Um, it's very difficult to actually get uh, lino of a plain colour and it's also more difficult to get lino that isn't in the form of kitchen tiles. Uh, everything sort of designed to look like artificial tiles which is pretty rubbish so this is pretty much the only one I could get um, that you know didn't have a straight line sort of pattern to it. I uh, got my speakers in I've just got these old cronky old Sony's in there they sit in there quite nicely got one there one there um, but yeah that's me the van so far um, like I say, this was about two and a half weeks work and I estimate I've got another week to go with just the finishing touches. Um, got to get the electrics plumbed in. I haven't even gone near there yet. And I was also thinking on that wall there of maybe putting a, a kind of a, a nice surfy picture. I don't know yet. I shall come back for the last time uh, for a part three, hopefully. Uh, once we're, once I think we're complete and we're actually going to um, you know take the thing away and, and try it out so till then have a great day and we'll see you guys again